Good morning, guys. I'm a little bit under the weather today, so if my normal chipper self isn't present, I do apologize for that, but I'll certainly try to bring him around. I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about something that I suffer from that maybe one of you suffers from, and if I can give a little light on that, then it would be something that maybe could be beneficial to you. Uh, it's called Permanent Introspect. So I am an introspect, is what I'm going to start calling myself. I would like to coin that term, but if someone's already used it for something, I know the word introspective is obviously a word. But calling someone an introspect is a person who's, co who's constantly inside of their head and introspecting their life. So for me, it's like at all times, I see the physical world. I'm there. I'm part of that physical world. But inside my head, I'm in an entire universe. And that's not to say it's any different. It's just that I'm constantly thinking about the last second and about my perspective on who I am at all times. So it's like, even sitting here, you know, I'm thinking about my childhood and I'm thinking about different choices I've made in my life and it's constantly running. And this has only been an occurrence since the car accident I was in back in 2001. And uh, after the car accident, I was in my head a lot more. And a lot of people would describe me as aloof because most of the time I was, you know, in an inner world thinking about things. And it, it used to be really annoying, to be honest with you, to be introspective so much, but I've gotten to a point now where it's actually very beneficial if you learn to use it properly. A lot of times you'll judge yourself because of your introspection, and that's actually not what it's for. It's actually designed to give you a good idea of how well-rounded you should be, and how well-rounded you could be, and who you're supposed to be. That conversation you're having with yourself when you're separating yourself from your body or from your mind and your personality from all of those things gives you a good chance to think, okay, so here's how I acted in this situation. Here's my results. Here's what always seems to happen. Here's where this road leads me. Things like that. Now, some of us, it's really annoying because there's a constant running chatter. And this isn't the same thing as when you're trying to meditate and your voice starts, you know, stopping you from meditating or doesn't let you have empty thought because I can clear my mind and have empty thought. So that's not what it is at all. It's almost as if there's a firmament between the physical world and another world. And both of those run right down the middle of the body. So at all times, I'm wandering around where I am at in my environment at the same time as I'm actually standing still in my environment and it's a hard thing to master the two because you can seem like you're ignoring people if you don't do it properly and uh, you know it's never my goal to ignore anyone um, I work with people all day long and I believe that my introspection has given me a good way to speak to people because when someone asks me something or has something to say to me instantly and I'm talking about in a millisecond I have an entire conversation with myself by the time I'm ready to say something I've worked out everything that needs to be said and I make connections that I wouldn't make with every single person some people you'll make different connections with than others and it's because you know okay so this is where they're going this is kind of what their thought structure is shaping into I understand that thought structure because I've thought about it myself and I know what comes next and what feels good to come next so I know what to say to make that person feel comfortable and happy so we can be the healers with just our words us introspects and I'd really love to hear from some of you who are constantly in your head to see how you use it and to how you deal with it. So don't be afraid to be introspective. Don't feel like you're sick or you're mad or that you're crazy because you aren't. You're just dealing with a lot of internal stuff and I'm gonna lead this into my next video. It's gonna be called Creating an Empath with Child Abuse and it's going to be about you know, how you raise a child that can cause them to be very empathetic, almost in a bad way, uh, and how we can overcome that as that child. 
So stay tuned, guys, and I'm going to be bringing something really nice to you. Bye.